Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. I went out for a walk early this morning, trying to walk as much as I can. I got some sleep and um, I did manage to eat even though I wasn't hungry because of the hunger suppressants that I was taking. Now I'm pretty much finished with them. I gotta wait until um, next month to, uh, to refill, to get a refill on it. I'm just a little worried from all the weight that I've already lost that I might just gain it back because um, having to rely on willpower by itself is not going to work. If any of you have any suggestions on how to uh, decrease your appetite so you won't so it won't be um, a serious struggle. It, has, it hasn't happened yet. I mean, um, I think it takes a while for it to get out of your system. But the thing is, I lost seven more pounds. And um, hopefully, I'll lose enough weight that you'll see a difference in my face, you know, that it doesn't look as chubby as, as it used to be. And um, because I do notice a difference in my waistline. When you lose 35 pounds, you really, and then you really, you really um, notice a difference. Like when I, um, I have to wear slippers instead of regular, ten, instead of regular tennis shoes because I, I can't bend over to tie my shoes. Now I was able to actually do that. I put on regular shoes with laces and I was able to just barely tie them. Even though it was, uh, it was one of those uh, single laced or whatever, but I didn't, I didn't wear them, I didn't wear them that often. And I wore some um, shoes for people, for people who have diabetes, for type 2 diabetes. They have Velcro straps. So it's like tennis shoes with Velcro. And I was able to use those and walk around with them. But then I still went back to uh, my slippers. I've been overweight for 30 years. As a kid growing up, up to my teenage years, when I was active in martial arts and stuff like that. I didn't start gaining weight until I was um, 20 years old. That's when I started getting fat. In the prime of my fucking youth. And I tried desperately to lose weight during that time only to find out that I had a sleeping disorder. Only to find out that my thyroid wasn't all that wasn't all that great. I didn't find out until many years later. And I didn't know that sleep apnea could actually be so bad if it, if it goes undiagnosed. And it went undiagnosed until I was 29 when I found out that I had it and you gain weight from it. And then to have all these other symptoms, uh, I had asthma, uh, uh, respiratory allergies, I was, I was basically born with it. I had it ever since I was a kid. I would get itchy, red, uh, watery eyes and things like that. It just got to the point where I was allergic to everything. That's what the doctor said. And um, it, 
He just fucking sucks. I was, I was becoming less and less active. And there was times where I lost a lot of weight. I power walked a lot when I went on vacation from work. I lost a lot of weight and then, but it, it seems like, it seems like once I reach a certain point, something comes around, to, something comes around to sabotage it. I don't, I just don't fucking get it. Three times I was successful in losing a lot of weight and then I just stopped. When it came to regular exercises, I used to force myself to jog. I would jog as much as I could and then I would just slowly build it up. It was just track fields from, from my old high school. Uh, for people who for people who live in Milwaukee, um, South Division High School, the track field, I would run as much as I can. I would run a lap and a half and then I'll get winded and then I'll and then I'll catch my breath for about ten minutes or so and then keep on running another mile, another lap and a half. Um And then I actually ended up running a mile and a half to two miles. It took some time for the, for me to build up enough stamina, but it, but uh, I actually managed to do it. And then one day, just out of the blue, when I was reaching the ultimate the ultimate success, I felt a I felt a, a drop of of energy. My energy just dropped. My energy metabolism just dropped. And I forced myself to jog, and, and it just got worse and worse. It felt like I was being sabotaged or some, or some shit like that. I, don't, I just don't fucking get it. And then, um... I don't know. But the point is, I lost weight on this before with the... With the hunger suppressors and um, I lost a lot of weight but then I had to get off of it because uh, they were saying that I was abusing him which I wasn't it's just that it builds up tolerance after time and I was so fucking verbally abused at work at the casino that I was working at they're calling me lazy and, and stuff like that I told them I have a sleep disorder that's why that's why I can't move as fast as you guys you know, fuck you, you're just lazy. And then I ended up sticking up for myself only to get fired. And every, and every fucking proof that I had that I had a sleeping disorder, it was all destroyed in, in, in human resources. So they won't get in trouble. So my supervisor and everybody that bullied me won't get in trouble. Because I could easily sue them for, for, uh, for, for discrimination. So it took a while, and um, so I ended up getting a new doctor after so many years, and now I'm back on Adderall again, and I'm making progress, and I do not want anything to fuck it up. I don't want anything to fuck it up. I don't want, I, I, I lost 35 pounds, I don't want to fucking get it back. I don't want, I don't want to have to rely on willpower. I, I actually cut down on drinking soda. I used to drink a lot of soda, now I'm drinking water like crazy, out of fear. I've been, and, I, and I've been drinking water for, for, for like two months now. A soda I would drink once in a great while, I would drink a can or two cans like uh, once a week or something like that. And some juice uh, every now and then, not, not too often, like maybe once or twice a week, but mostly water just bottled water and I'll be buying 24 packs of uh, Ice Mountain or Aquafina you know whatever's on sale or whatever that kind of thing at the dollar store I would buy them sometimes too but um if you guys have any suggestions on what would be, what would be a natural appetite suppressant something that would suppress the um, my appetite and um, something to keep me motivated. I mean, I'll, 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 be, I'll be hoping to any any kind of suggestions because I can't exercise, I can't jog. But I got arthritis on my ankles and on my knees, 
I'm too heavy. I'm still not um, skinny enough to uh, to start jogging. I tried doing that and I ended up fucking up my legs. I forced myself to jog. And I had to learn a lesson from that. Now I got, now my legs are fucked up. I could walk, but that's all I could do. So I'm open to any kind of suggestions that you might have. Because I'm making progress right now and I do not want, I just don't want to, I don't want to fail. Losing 35 pounds after so many years of being overweight is an overwhelming experience already so far. I went from 262, I'm sorry, not too, I'm sorry. I went from 362, 362 pounds to 248 pounds, 235, and I said I lost seven more pounds or, so, or I forgot or something like that. Now I weigh 227. I mean, uh, now I weigh 327. From 362 to 327. 327 pounds I weigh now compared to 362. I don't want to step on a scale one day and, and then find out that, that that I that I that I went up to three thirty something and then three forty and then three fifty and then end up getting a no fuck that. Fuck that. Any suggestions I'll I'll be more than happy. This is Dare to Speak.